What up, it's your boy JD, aka Resurrection, doing volume 8 for my videos. Yo, it's been a long time again, you know, and I told you I was the next video I was gonna make, you know, I was gonna show authentics, and yo, I got a lot of authentics along the way. Happy New Year's, everybody. It's 2009, it's a new year, you know, we got big things to do. I got big things, I got big plans for 09. So I'm gonna show you 10 jerseys, but this time they're nothing but authentics. So, like I promised, so here we go. Alright, number one. Got this along the way. Um, this is the Mitchell Ness uh, Lyle Alzado. It's a throwback 1984. You can see here's the Mitchell Ness tag right here. It's all legit. I got it checked out. Big ups to everybody on NLT for helping me out. You know, find these jerseys. But yeah, you got Alzado's name stitched along with his number 77 right there. Got the old school Rangers color right there. And this is a really good jersey. It's pretty heavy. The material is, is perfect. So. Uh, Number two, of course, is another authentic, like I promised, and that's my, uh, I, ha I showed you guys this one before, but it was a Smith, the Swingman, but this is the authentic version, um, Charlotte Bobcats, Omeka Okafor, it's a size 52, um, I like wearing size 52 for authentics, I don't know why they feel comfy, but yeah, you got Okafor's name right there, Stitch, you got the number 50, and Charlotte, and yeah, this is an authentic, as you can see right here. It's like heavy nylon, so yeah. Alright. Next jersey, the Royal Threats. Number three. Seattle Sonics. Y'all know Ray Allen was holding down the team before he left, you know, to Bean Town, Boston, Celtics. Uh, not much to say, but Ray Allen's name is Stitch, an authentic edition, brand new, the tags and everything. Uh, here's a side tag right there. Size 52, so yeah, this is a really good jersey, really heavy. Alright, number four, it's a college version made by Adidas. I love this jersey, it's pretty rare too. Central Michigan, Dan Marley. It's an awesome jersey right here. I got this for a steal, 20 bucks, but you can see the tags right there. Brand new, True School, Authentics, and you see the price right there. Retail is about like 150, but yeah, you got Dan Marley's name right there, stitched, double stitched, and you got Dan Marley's signature along with the size right there, and Adidas. This is a sick jersey. All right, next one, another one. Made by Harvard Legends this time. My favorite college jerseys. I made them right here. Michigan State, the white version, Matty Johnson. Y'all can't hate. Brand new again. Yeah, as you can see in the back, got Johnson's name. Stitch Loan 33, got Michigan State Stitch 33 again, and we got uh, Michigan State right there, Spartans, 1976-1979, the year he attended the university, awesome jersey, what can I say? Alright, let me change my playlist like always, some things never change, <laughs> alright, here's another one, one of my favorites, I copped it along the way. Brand new with tags again, Nate Thurman, number 42, one of the legends of the San Francisco Warriors, aka Golden State Warriors to this day. But you got Nate Thurman's name stitch right there, you got the Mitchell Ness Hardwood uh, Classics, size 54. And you can see the, pr the original price right there, 350. Brand new with the NBA hologram, the tags right there. In the back, you got 42. Now this jersey, I've never seen jerseys stitched like this before, like, it's crazy. I think this is like Mitchell Ness's finest craftsmanship on the jersey right here. Like the design and the city, the number, it's like laced, you know, so it's really, really heavy. This jersey's pretty heavy, and the color just blows you out, you know, like with the color really bright. And yeah, you got the 42 stitch, one of my favorites as well, since I'm from the Bay. Uh, next one, NFL jersey. Y'all might hate, but you know what? I can go wrong with this right here. Atlanta Falcons, Michael Vick. Y'all know he's in prison. I'm not going to explain the whole reason why. You should know that already. But, yeah. You got Michael Vick's name, Stitch. The 7 Stitch right there is an authentic size 52. Right there, it's legit. Big ups to Rye650 on NLT for helping me spot this out, man. I owe you guys. You guys are the best. And I hope you guys had a great one. Um, but, yeah. This jersey, and you got the Atlanta Falcons patch right there, Stitch. The Reebok. And yeah, this is a pretty clean jersey as well. Uh, another one, of course, Golden State Warriors. I showed you guys 
orange one, the navy blue one. Now I'm gonna show you the white one. This is home of Oakland. These are the colors they wear at home. Warriors, you know, Jay Rich, y'all know what I do. With the 23, uh, this is size 48. I don't mind wearing 48, fits me perfectly. You got the 23 right there. Sure, he's beautiful, made in El Salvador with the Reebok tag. And yeah, this is a good jersey as well. I love this color too. You know, I gotta get all the colorways for Jay Rich because I was like my all time favorite warrior. Uh, I believe we're on number nine. Another rare one. Right here. Y'all know what this is? Cleveland Cavaliers. I showed you LeBron James throwback version of this. Well, this is the awesome car version of this right here. You got car right there, screen printed. Heavy screen print with the 34, because that's the way it was worn back in the year when Carr played for the Cavs. Anyways, you got the NBA right there, the tags, the sticker, the hologram, and you got the Mitchell Ness tag right there. Beautiful jersey. And here it is, the Mitchell Ness Harbor Classics, and the size 52, which is equivalent to a double X. Really good jersey, too. All right, I've been saving the final one. And well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Y'all ready for this one? I'm gonna put back that one song in the beginning. There we go. I've been trying to get this for a long time. Still no lie, I bought two fakes along the way, every, every person in this jersey. But y'all know what it is. I told you guys that I got this. I told Jersey Kid I got this. And now we have to be the beautiful Spirit St. Louis. Moses Malone, ABA, throwback right here. Now this jersey was beautiful. It is beautiful, that's all I can say. Um, John Malone's name stitched in the back. This jersey's a really rare gem. If you're a jersey collector, you all know that this jersey is really hard to come by. Um, I was lucky enough to get one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into detail with this jersey. Uh, you got the Spirits of St. Louis right there, stitched with a 13. You got the Mitchell Ness tag right there. Uh, yeah, and then you got Made in USA. Um, in the back, you got Malone stitched along with a 13. Now, uh, I purchased this fake twice. So I was really heated, but this one's legit. I'm going to tell you from my experience how to spot this is being real. Number one, the shoulder straps. If it's a fake, they're too wide. They're too big, the white trim. Um, and number two, I didn't know this, but Pistol Pete helped me spot this out on uh, Next Level Top. And it's this little line right here. Now, if you can't see this line connecting to the plane, if, you, if the jersey doesn't have it, it's a fake. Most likely it's a fake. And the little loophole with the L's on the L, if you can't see that orange, or if it's like bubbled in with another color, it's, that's, you know, avoid that. Also, I noticed that Malone, the real, the legit ones, his name or is like more orange here than like this being like in the middle kind of. So like the fake ones, I see him like up here more, but this one's kind of laid out flat in the middle, smack down in the middle. But yeah, I know Jersey Kid got this, but my version doesn't have that Union Labor tag. But I know this is made in USA, and I know you said the Union Labor tag is what distinguishes the jersey of it being made in the USA. But it says that it's made in USA with this tag right here. So, um, this is legit, by the way. Uh, it's really rare. It's a retired jersey, so Mitchell Ness doesn't, no longer makes this jersey. But I finally got one. I'm glad I got one, because I purchased it fake twice. So that really pissed me off. All right, well, I showed you 10 jerseys for this week, but I don't want you all feeling sad because I got another 10 authentics coming along the way very soon. I just want to give you guys what you wanted. You know, the promise you guys that I would show you the video for my authentics. This is a new year. It's 2009. I got big things coming, big things to do. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to update you guys soon. And I can't promise I'm going to do it every week like I used to because authentics take a little more time to get since they're more expensive. But I promise you I'll be getting authentics, more authentics. I got more. But I'm not going to show you those yet. I'm going to show you guys later. Big ups to everybody on YouTube. Subscribe to my videos, alright? It's your boy JD, aka Resurrection. I'm out.